These Christmas ornaments have made over $20,000 in sales in the winter season. But as you can see, most of these designs look the same and there's not really anything to stand out from the competition. But what if I told you that you can utilize a simple AI prompt to create outstanding designs that can sell even better. In today's video, I wanna share with you how to create these AI designs that you can start utilizing on these Christmas ornaments. I wanna share this all with you coming up next. All right, so here we are in Etsy. And as you can see, there are a lot of popular ornament letters that have been sold on Etsy. But as you can see here, there is a really basic theme here in regards to these products. It's a basic A with the tree in the background and just the letter L as well. Now, again, these products have done extremely well. There's no doubt about it. If we go into Etsy here and see these type of products here, again, they have this letter A with the Christmas in the background here. And when I scroll down, obviously it's not a bestseller now because we're not in the Christmas season, but we can go down and see how well this product has done by looking at the individual reviews for this listing here this has received 21 reviews so we know this is sold multiple times on etsy and we can see this product as well is that basic letter design that we see to be on these ornaments here it's a basic letter with some christmas themes on the side obviously it's a pod product and it's personalized this is a best-selling item people already have it in the cart for this particular listing here and we know this has done well because it has received over 500 reviews and if you know anything about reviews it takes between five to seven purchases for one review to be left so we know this product has done extremely well with sales but as you can see here it's still following that basic trend of just having a basic letter again adding in that personalization but those letters don't really necessarily stand out in regards to what we could possibly do with our design but we see that it is selling well though right this basic letter a is here as well has the christmas themes all over it we see nine people have it in the cart right now if we go down a little bit further this product here has received 67 reviews just for this individual visual listing so we know this has done well during christmas time and this product here as well a little bit different adding in a little bit more here to these designs here but we can see this product has done good as well now the issue with selling these type of products is that most of the times people go over into canva or they go into creative fabrica and they try to create these designs which is why most of them are very similar to the other designs here but i think we can go a little bit further with our designs by incorporating ai to create create the letters for us. And I think by doing so, we can actually create a better product. So with that being said, let's jump over into Kittle. Let's see if we can create this letter type design and let's see if we can redesign this in a way that can be more intriguing to the eye, but still follow along with this trend of that personalization in the letters here that we have for our design. Now here's the main place that we're gonna create this design for this Christmas theme. It is Kittle. Kittle is a great place to create these designs because they have a lot of tools already in place. It's gonna help us just redesign our products in a very unique way. And by utilizing their AI tool, this is really the powerhouse in how we're going to create our designs. And they make it so easy for you to put in a prompt for you to generate an image here and to apply that to your design. So that's definitely where we're gonna be spending our time at today. If you do wanna check out Kittle on your own, there was a kind of give my audience a discount code to go ahead and get started with them i'll make sure to leave all the details in my description box below if you want to check this out on your own all right so now we're in kiddo we're going to head over into a new project they have a lot of presets already in place here if you head over to pod presets you can see a lot of things already there for different type of products like hoodies and sweatshirts and t-shirts and coffee mugs but one of the presets that we do not see here are the presets for the ornaments so we definitely want to make sure that we are you know sizing our ornament in the proper way so that we can lay this properly on our print on demand product the ornament that we're going to focus on creating is this ceramic ornament here and so i'll click on this and here's a print on demand provider that is supplying this for us and for us to see the actual size of the product that we're going to create we can head to start designing here and then we can head over into the eye and this is going to give us some more information about this product if we scroll down we can see the actual print size that's needed here for our design so we see the print size is nine five four by 954 pixel count so very easy measurements for us to include into our design here and this is exactly what we're going to take over into kittle so we have the proper space to have our design here all right, so being that we're back in Kittle here, we definitely want to look at the settings area where we're able to upload our particular measurements, which is 954 by 954. And we're definitely going to focus on the pixel count here so we can add that to our design. So with everything set here, we'll go ahead and click create. And now we have our design space. When we head over to this download button, we can see here that everything is set in place. Again, 954 by 954. And this is going to be perfect for us when we're creating our design. 
All right, so here is our artboard that we're going to create our design. And one of the things we definitely want to incorporate is an AI prompt to generate an amazing design for us that we can start selling this on our product. So that being said, we want to head over to the left hand side. We want to head over to this little button here where it says image generator. And from there, we want to go into the prompt section. This is where we're going to put in a prompt for the Kittle AI system to create a design for us. So I'll go ahead and add in a prompt here and we'll see what things come up as a result. All right, so here is the design we gathered from utilizing Kittle AI prompt. As you can see here, it brought in this amazing art style of the letter B, which is our focus letter right here. It brought in some floral designs and it's really fitting that Christmas theme. And we added in that particular character of a reindeer. So you can see this really outshines what we have seen with the rest of the products being sold on Etsy. As you can see, this is this basic letter C that was created here, this basic letter A that's created, but utilizing the Kittle prompt here, we create this amazing design that could be used on a Christmas ornament. Now, with that being said, I want to share with you the prompt that we use for this so you know how to create this for multiple listings that you may design and recreate in your own unique way. So with that being said, let's jump over into our prompt. You can see we have a complex prompt here, definitely incorporating some of those winter colors, those winter themes. So we have the letter B dressed as a reindeer with a winter floral background with rich blues crisp bright whites and shimmering silver and gold as well as jewel tone purples pink and deep and we add in some more things just adding in the emerald at the bottom here this is the result this is pretty outstanding when you think about it. we're just simply putting in some text into kittle and it's generating for us a very high quality image and again this is something that we can change if we don't want to focus on a reindeer this could easily be focused on a different type of character maybe a snowman or maybe a christmas tree or a christmas star there's multiple things we can create just by changing the individual element here that we have for our reindeer and then bringing in something else that could do extremely well targeting in a totally different niche here but still creating something of high value we can start selling on our etsy shop now the cool part about utilizing these ai prompts is that we can change the letters right here in the same prompt that we have created so obviously we're focusing on the letter b but all they have to do here is just change out this letter to obviously a different letter and it'll still take upon the same type of theme here and generate for us a different image so we'll just change this as well and sometimes you'll get the image to come out well and sometimes it doesn't but all the thing we gotta do is just hit generate again and it'll create for us a brand new image we can start creating for etsy we're going to change out the letter b to the letter a here and we're going to hit generate and then we'll see what things come up okay so we see that the second design came out extremely well and the only thing we changed here was just the prompt letter we went from letter b to letter a and that's the only thing we changed but as you can see we have some amazing designs here and this could be used on different type of products just not ornaments but this can be used on coffee mugs this can be used on tote bags i mean the opportunities that we have to create these type of designs is really amazing very crisp design here as you can see it transferred over the same color theme here brought in the letter a again focus on that range that we want to add to our design and again this could be done for all the letters you can do some personalization to this to sell on an ornament so easy for you to get started with this utilizing this ai prompt so let's do a little test here say if we don't want to focus on a reindeer let's see what will happen if we keep the letter but change the element let's see what kittle does with our prompt and see what can be generated here all right, so with that being said, we'll jump back over into our Kittle prompt here. And instead of us putting the reindeer, we're just going to change this out to be a different character here. So we'll add in maybe a snowman. And now here is our prompt. We have letter A dressed as a snowman with a winter floral background and all the things that we added for our other prompts. So let's see what results we get when we hit generate. All right, so here is the design we have for our snowman that we added here. And as you can see, this came out extremely well. I think this is something we can definitely sell on Etsy here. And as you can see, the only thing we changed here was the prompt. Instead of us putting in a reindeer, the only thing we just changed was the snowman here. But because we have this complex prompt and we're putting in these winter type colors and this theme here, it's very easy to go ahead and change our overall element just by simply changing this to a snowman. As you can see, it still brought over those same one Wonderful elements here that we know to work well all these things here can be sold on etsy 
as a physical product, even going as far as selling as a digital product, if you want to sell it as a clip art, there's a lot of opportunities here to utilize this as a high quality listing with these designs here. I think this has done extremely well. And of course, we can download this, upload this to our print on demand product or sell it as a digital product. But as you can see here, this snowman came out great, brought over those same colors, that same theme. But then we just focus on a different element that still generated for us a very great image. Now, the only thing that's left here for us to do is just simply remove the background, which we can do that here by selecting AI background remover. And then from there, we just have to simply download this as a PNG file. But again, this is a great image for us to upload and start selling on our Etsy shop. And when we go and compare what we have created with the AI designs from Kiddo into what we have seen already selling well on Etsy, our prompts brought out a lot that's not visible on Etsy. This makes our product stand out and even attract more people to these designs that's already selling well, but we're adding in unique designs that will make our product stand out even more. Now, creating designs for your Etsy product is only one half of actually selling well on Etsy. If you want to learn how to find top trending keywords for your Etsy product, check out this next video here and subscribe to my channel to learn more about how to make income online with Etsy. As always, my friends, my name is Jay and I will see you in the next video.